looks like the secret's out. It's, it's... Metallica! Yes, Metallica is back at last on its first ever headlining tour of U.S. arenas, supporting its first LP in nearly two years and Justice for All. The album's already gone beyond platinum, expanding the band's already fanatical cult following. They're bad as hell. They're cool as hell, man. They're the best metal band in the whole world. If that's true, it may be as much because of what Metallica doesn't do as what it does. I think, you know, very early on in this band, we set out realizing that there's so many cliches in heavy metal up through the 80s that if we can't better them, then let's not touch them. Do you know what I mean? Things like singing about girls and drugs and, you know, Satanism and all this crap. I mean, it's just too boring. <laughs> What's going on with Metallica right now is the usual. No mainstream radio airplay. But so what? They've been selling records for the last five years without radio assistance and without any videos either, until now. In December, Metallica plans to shoot its first video. The song will be One, about a soldier who has all of his limbs shut off and his senses destroyed. What would it be like to just sort of not have any contact with the rest of the world, what would it be like if you had no limbs, couldn't reach out to anyone and speak to them or whatever, sort of kind of like being a living consciousness or something like that. Don't get the wrong idea, though. Metallica are anything but pseudo-intellectual. You're less likely to catch them hanging out at the library than at the corner magazine shop. Chest life? No way. Horror fan. This is good. Assault rifles. This is good. Barbara Bush, Metallica, together for the first time. Hopefully not last. Yes, Metallica is a band with its own outlook and its own way of doing things, and no intention of changing. After all, this independent approach has worked very well so far. We know we haven't sacrificed anything. We haven't tried to compromise in certain areas by doing things a bit differently. I mean, we know that we've sold a million and a half records of the new album by not compromising anything. Nice to hear him.